go yellow penny. So I'll let you guys kind of sort yourselves out. Back line, midfield, up front. The Waterloo United Soccer Club holding tryouts over the weekend for their new League One reserve teams and a terrific turnout on both the men's and women's side. Almost 40 players hit the pitch Saturday afternoon for the men's tryouts at Bechtel Park. Sam Publicover is hoping to crack the roster. He is a former District 8 champion with the St. David Celtics and is a talented center midfielder looking to suit up in League One reserves. For youth soccer players it was it was a lot more challenging to get into that professional soccer setting in the past couple years but with League One reserves we're finally getting a chance to build our way up into playing for a pro team and getting seen more. I think I have a good leadership role in the Waterloo soccer kind of setting so I think I can bring a lot of experience from my past years into this tryout. Hopefully the team as well. On the women's side, there is an abundance of talent with local high school stars trying out, along with players from the Waterloo Warriors in the OUA. 23 players were on the field Saturday, including Jane McDonald, who just finished her first season with the Warriors. I think it's a really good opportunity for the girls to play this high level um, and all of the girls looking to play university. It's definitely going to get them ready and yeah I think it's really good. It's great to have like a really high level of soccer for girls especially in this area and I think it'll attract a lot of good players and uh, I know a lot of university players like UW players are coming here to play just in the offseason so they can raise the level of compete in the university season as well. There is another tryout session this coming weekend at Rim Park. For more information on League One reserves and the tryouts, visit WaterlooUnited.com. Here is Sam Javot from Waterloo United Soccer, the Director of Player and Coach Development. Obviously, you've had a great turnout here today, Sam. Give us a sense of what you've seen from these players as you start to prepare for League One reserves. We're really excited. Um, we've seen a lot of different players from a lot of different clubs, as well as a lot from Waterloo. Mm -hmm. um, the females had a massive turnout today, so we had over 35 players sign up. Um, and we're looking forward to having a few more um, next week. And the males, again, have been another big turnout. Mm -hmm. Some players that we weren't expecting to see are happy to see back at the the club, some that have been away for a couple of years and now coming back. Um, so that's really exciting for us um, and it, it, the quality level looks really high. There's a lot of local players here too. You see some of the high school students that are out obviously trying to make this team. We also see players from the Waterloo Warriors as we saw earlier in the story from the OUA. Um, great to see a wide variety of local players out here and some experience with the Waterloo Warriors from the OUA being here teaching some of the younger girls as well. Absolutely, and that was really important to see the, the calibre of players who sort of got first, second and third years from University of Waterloo with mm -hmm. the females coming out and it gives them a good mentor and guide as to that's, these are the steps these players want to take. These right. 17, 18 year olds want to step into the university realm. So it, it's really good to see that we're attracting both players that want to take that step and the players that have already taken that step. Talking to the players, one of the comments they made, all of them in fact, was that this is the highest level that you can play. What I say to you, Sam, is describe the magnitude of this for your club being involved in League One reserves. It's huge. It's huge. We're the only one in the region doing it. Um, so this is the highest level that you can participate at U21 within the province. Um, so for me, it's extremely exciting that we're starting to really close that performance pathway. We currently have U13, 14 and 15 at OPDL. Mm -hmm. And now having that U21 piece at League One Reserves, it just gives us an opportunity to close out the performance pathway. So we're really excited. Like I said, only one in the region at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we want to really maximize this opportunity and give our players the best pathway possible. This is the second tryout of three. You had one last week, you have one today. You have another one next weekend as well. It's still open. You can still come out, you can still try out for this team. Give us some details about somebody who may see this who says, yes, I want to go try out for that team. Well, I think if you want to take the next step, if you want to move on to university level or you're already at university and you want to make sure that you stay in great condition mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you're working with a team that's going to be successful with coaching staff that are going to make you better, I think this is the step for you. So we have one more trial. It's November 23rd on the Saturday. It's going to be held at Rim Park, 3 to 4.30 for the females, 4.30 to 6 for the males. And we're just excited to see the best caliber of players in a region that we know has great players. And we just want to see them come out and give it a chance. That is Sam Javot from the Waterloo United soccer club and for more information on next weekend's tryouts you can visit waterloounited.com
For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.